Hey everybody out there in YouTube land. My name is Matt. I'm going to do some reviews. Uh, try this thing out see if anybody want to watch them. Started out today with reviewing a couple of rain gauges. I know. You think, why are you reviewing a rain gauge? A rain gauge is a rain gauge. That's true, but they, they range anywhere from 99 cents to $20 for just your, your normal rain gauge. That's nothing electronic or anything. That's just a gauge you stick out there in the ground or nail up to your deck or hang up outside somewhere. Let rain run into it and see how much it rains. $20 seems like a little high to me. 99 cents seems like a pretty good price. I got two of them here. I'd like to have done three. My goal was to do three so I could put all three of them out, let it rain, and then check the act, you know, see if two of them were exactly the same, one of them was a little different, or if they were all three the same. I'm not going to tell how accurate they were. But when I went to the store to look, I found one for 99 cents. I thought, okay, I'll try that one. I found one for $3.50. The next one up, was sixteen dollars. Now granted they didn't have very many where I went to a true value and we've been having a lot of rain in this area lately and I think everyone's come went to buy new rain gauges because uh, they didn't have very many. It had, had some spots there where some were sold out. So anyway I got these two. This one here is just your average rain gauge got numbers both uh, millimeters and inches it's got holes I'll show you it's got holes here where you can mount to a pole or you can just stick it in the ground it's got up to five inches 120 130 would be the next one 130 millimeters. This is hard to read. It's very hard to read. Um, I think if it was, if I'm going to use this one, I would probably take a black or a red marker and rub over these. That they're kind of raised up, so you could you could uh, color them. Maybe make it a little easier to see. This one here, magnifying rain gauge, Springfield product. Doesn't say it was made in the USA, but I'm assuming it was. It doesn't say. It says something about the US here, but it doesn't really say it's made in the USA does have the USA is Tyler Precision Products is a US, USA company I'm pretty sure it was made in the USA so it is same thing you can mount it on your pole it's got a little hook up here if you want to mount it there or you can stick it in the ground it does magnify and it makes it real easy to read. This one only does inches, up to five inches. And uh, three dollars fifty cents, made in USA. Ninety-nine cents made in China. I'm gonna try them out tonight. It's supposed to rain pretty good. We're supposed to have over an inch of rain tonight, so. I'm going to set them out we'll try them out and see which one does the best or see if they both do just as good. Check them out. Like I said, I would have liked to have done one other one. You've probably seen those ones that they're about all inch and a half around. Probably two and a half foot tall. they got the big cup-like thing on the top. Great big numbers. You could probably put it out in your backyard and read it from your kitchen window. I really would have liked to have reviewed that one. They wanted $16 for it. 
I just wasn't willing to pay $16 just to do a review. Um, anyway, let's see what it does. Okay, we're checking it out and see if they're both the same amount in here. It rang pretty good last night. It's just under two inches. As you can see, maybe you can't. Both of them. Are just under two inches. Now the one that's magnified is so much easier to read. To really look close at the one that made in Japan. Anyway, my main goal here was to see if they both read the same. And it looks like they do. They both read exactly the same thing. So, I wish I had a third to compare, but it's At least they're both the same. Alright, we're back now after a night of good rain. It rained all night long. Checked out both of these things. They both read exactly the same. And, uh, you know, if you want to go for the no money, least amount of money, 99 cents, this one will do the job. I prefer this one. It's just much easier to read. Made in USA, and uh, yeah, I just like I just like this one better. I don't know why. Like I say, I would have liked to have done another review on you know a couple more, but I just wasn't willing to fork out the money for it. If there's a manufacturer out there that'd like me to review your product and compare them to others, or just review them standalone, I'll be glad to do so. I'll put my email in the comments. Shoot me an email, let me know. I plan on uh, reviewing a couple other items I use around here. I will only review items I've used. I don't believe in reviewing an item, just taking it out of the box and giving you my opinion of it. I want to use it, check it out, make sure it works, and then I'll give you my opinion of it. Um, anyway, that's my first review. Hope you like it.